my name is Liam and this is NLS Racing 2 Gaming. Today we're playing a little bit more of F1 2012 and my apologies guys, we're back in Germany. I know we did this last race but um, I did try to skip it but to no joy so let's just see how we get on. 10 cars on the grid, I'm in first place, don't think we're going to stay there and I'm in a forced India so here we go guys. Using curves off the line again guys, try and get all the way up to 100 miles an hour. I'm not going to break for this corner because I know that we're going to break slow. I'm going to lift though just to try and scope out the way of everybody and not get overtaken the Feig speed takes that corner very nicely getting up a couple places I know there's a guy shooting up my right hand side so I'm going to try and break out of that I don't want to get spawned by him try and spring it all the way around not bad driving from PA 0209 now which is pretty good little, use a bit, little bit of curse just to try and stay ahead from the uh, from the German at his home circuit here I'm going to try and push him to the inside, break nice and early to try and let him to the fly into the back of the catering, try and go over the underneath the two of them. Didn't really work, but there we go. Um, I thought there was a bit of a lag on the damage there, but that's alright. So, no need to break for this corner, guys. Just turn nice and tight into that, get far onto the right-hand side of the track, breaking out of that again. I know there's a guy on my left there, so I'm trying not to take anybody out here. Break, ooh, well, I didn't think he was going to break that much. Um, try not to do what I did then kind of mess myself up a little bit I didn't think he was going to break that much of that corner break nice, kiss the on the right because you don't want to end up in the gravel trap on the left there because that can seriously end your race Ferrari and the Williams fighting now been spawned by someone from behind pretty sure that's what happened last race as well wait for everyone to come on so we don't take anybody else out alright down into 5th place guys it's not going particularly great but we've, at least we haven't caused any problems yet no need to break for this next corner just feather it through and accelerate out to use all the momentum and then curves down the home straight Lap 2 now, a little bit of tap on the brakes, flick it in, try not to get a corner cut. Oh, okay, okay, I didn't know what the hell happened then. Uh, that was very bad. <laughs> if someone can explain that to me, I'd like to hear it. That was a bit mad. Okay, anyway, we've got a corner cut, at least it's not a penalty. Taking these corners nice and smooth, no need to break for this one. First sector finish, we're probably, I mean, it says we were, um, we've we got the fastest sector, but I think that's just because no one's finished a, a lap yet, a fast lap anyway. He's in half the bar occurs all the way down the back straight past the Panasonic board, breaking nice and early into this corner to try and kiss the apex on the right. Still mess it up, it's a very tricky corner. We've got the Ferrari now, I'm going to try and come on, I'm going to kind of scares me off the track a little bit there, which is a bit, bit of a shame, but again, no need to break for here. Using all the left and then all the right of the track, break nicely into it. Um, again, the Ferrari pushing me off the track there. It's not really the right way to race it, he seems to be just quite aggressive and trying to get back up to the position that he lost, but... Into fourth place now. Someone retiring from the race. I don't know whether or not they've crashed out or they've left. Feathering a little bit through there. Break late into this corner so that you can just kiss the apex on the left-hand side. And not get spun off by a Ferrari. Like we have done. <laughs> okay, well, we're back down into fifth place, guys. This keeps happening. I think these... This is a... Uh, it's a Sunday morning, so I think everybody's just a pretty... Pretty angry at the moment. So I don't know what's going on here, but... Again, feathering around the corner, using all the curves that you've got left to give you the momentum down the pit straight. Going to break a little bit later so I don't have to use as much of the curve as last time it kind of threw us off. Not too bad, doing it at 150 miles an hour in that corner, so that was okay. Bag speed, getting the fastest lap, breaking nicely into this corner, kissing the right-hand side, using all the left, and then trying to bring it back and onto the right-hand side of the circuit for this next straight. Past another Panasonic board there, using half the bar curves. I've used pretty much all of it now, so that's a bit of a shame, but... It's better to both we'll use a little bit more. We don't really need it for the home straight at the moment. It doesn't even like there's anybody close to us. But break it nice and early. Kiss the right-hand side of the track. Again, I can't seem to throw it around. I don't know whether that's because of the default class or what. But it seems to be messing that corner up a bit. Use all the curves now down here. I know because it's the last lap. There's no reason to, to keep it anymore. We've got Sky up ahead. That isn't the Ferrari, I don't think. so. Which is a bit of a shame because he seems to have been a bit of a problem for us this race. Past another Panasonic board using all the left-hand side of the track, using most of the momentum. Tap of the brakes into here and then feather it all the way around, kissing the apex, taking the momentum out onto the left-hand side. Brake late into the corner, no cars to take it out this time, so I can show you exactly what I meant. Using all the momentum and then onto the right. Kiss the apex on the left, no need to break for any of these corners apart from this one. Use it as one corner, no need to break twice. Feather it round and uh, trying to bring it home for fourth place. No, third place. So, yeah, the Ferrari quite rightly did get a penalty for spinning his off about a thousand times. But Okay, guys, so here we are for the second race of this video. And I have to apologise again and again because we are on a track that I've already done before. It's just impossibly hard to get people to vote for certain tracks. It seems to be the same ones coming round and round. I don't know. 
maybe I need to look into doing some different races. I mean, if you guys want to see um, something different, you want to see a different sort of custom games or endurance races, things like that, then I'm happy to listen to you guys. Just drop a comment below, um, hit the like button, hit subscribe if you're new, and then drop a comment at the bottom, and then I'll uh, I'll get back to you. I'll reply to most of the messages that I can see if I get can get any, and I'll. Uh, Hopefully we can get get something done, change into a bit more of an enjoyable races for you guys to see. Okay, so we're getting hit off a little bit there, a bit too adventurous by me at the start, going down the left-hand side of Pioneer vs FC. I, think that was, I don't really know how to say that. Breaking in for this corner now, I just want to kind of stay out of the way of the action for a little bit. Oh god, the Lotus going straight into the wall there, and then a force in, you're losing it as well. This is going to try and take that car out, which is what it looks like he's trying to do. Ooh, didn't like the sound of that. I'm going to break out of that as he tries to cut right across on my right-hand side. It's going nice and smooth now. Breaking out again. I'm no I'm wimping out of this, guys, but I really don't want to lose my wing. Go hitting straight into the back of him. No need to break for this corner. Going all the way up the right-hand side of him. He seems to be respectable and normal at the moment, but I am afraid he's going to just hit straight into the back of me. So, trying to take the inside line. And that didn't really work. Uh, let's try and get back on the track. Sorry for not talking for a minute there, guys. Trying to concentrate after being rudely taken out by Caro Titty. Appropriate name for his actions there. So, back onto the racing. Again, this is a tricky corner. Try and hit the corner on the left hand side is good, but try and ignore that right hand curve because it can send you into a massive spin, which really does end your race. And numerous times, I've, especially on F1 2011, it is a little bit different for F1 2012, which is good, but especially on F1 11. It has completely screwed me over plenty of times. I mean, this is a very technical track anyway, so getting one bit wrong is, you know, can just have a sort of effect on your motivation and you can just end up taking every single corner wrong. You need to be in the right place at the right time for every single corner on this track. That's why I like it, to be honest. I'm a big fan of Catalonia, so. But, as I've said before, you guys have seen it before, which is not what I want to keep doing. I don't want to put re repeats up. I mean, if you're happy to see it, then that's fine. I'm happy to happy to put up every bit of you know footage that I get, you know, good or bad, as long as it's entertaining. And I think you guys will enjoy it, then I'll, I'll put it up. But I don't want to be putting up repeats if you guys don't want to see it, because, uh, you know, I'd feel bad on you for that. So, so again, just comment below. Forcing you going off the track there. A little bit too close to my, my comfort there as I went up on the side of him, but we still got away from it. No need to break up that corner. 160 miles an hour down this straight now breaking nice and early just as we get into the sector there to try and kiss the apex stay on the track for the next bit accelerating out of the corner no need to break for this corner but breaking for the next one to try and push the car back onto the right hand side of the track feathering it round to use all the curb on the left nice late braking for that just a tad of the brake and then early braking on this so you can sweep the car in i think five speed taking a bit of a different line there as he uh, messed up the first part of that corner but that's all right so it is a bit of a Looks a bit like a runoff area there, I think from a different part of a, an older circuit or a different circuit. 180 miles an hour down this, this home straight, lap three of three, save a bit of curves just in case. I'm not really sure if we will, but just in case we get a chance up ahead. NLS Gaming, yeah, that's us, getting the fastest lap. 122.6, I don't know whether or not that's good or not, So because right, I haven't done qualifying in a very long time in this game. And a little bit of curves out of this corner to try and give us a little bit more of a push. Breaking nice. Just dabbing the brake and then using the momentum again out the corner. I had to favour it a bit more than I usually would because I think I was just getting a bit over exaggerated on the on the brake in there. Feathering down, using all the momentum out the second part of this corner. Should be about 130 miles an hour under the Pirelli board. Which is why I know that I've done it right. Brake tad a little bit more than I used to do because of this curve on the right hand side. Now it never used to be done at 11, but if you go over that, it can bounce you up. Again, default class, so no need to worry. Feathering out of that because they took a different line, so I'm messing up some of these corners at the moment, guys. Save a little bit of a corner, break as soon as you get into the sector because that seemed to work last time. We can get kiss the apex on the left there and accelerate out. Bit of a corner cut, so I seem to think I had one wheel, but apparently I didn't. Again, the curb sends me into a bit of a worse line than I had last time, but accelerating again out of the corner and breaking nice and tight for this last bit. Late breaking for this now because we are just trying to be a bit more aggressive. We can just force it onto the back of our high five speed. Kind of messed that up a little bit, which is a bit of a shame. Trying to get it back now. Maybe it was a bit too adventurous, but there we go, guys. Second in uh, Spain.